Hey guys, what's up? It's Necrona Paranoid Trekkie here. <laughs> About to show you my new multi-vector build 2.0, you could say. This setup a lot better, a lot cooler, a lot awesomer than well what I had before. So I'm gonna start off by my setup, as you can see, I you I do use a lot of auxiliary batteries. A lot. I probably will use about fifty a day. If I <clears throat> you know, didn't have a job and was on this game most of the day. So, uh, first off, I want to start off with my guns. I'm working on collecting fleet guns, uh, but right now it's just going to be a slow process because I've got some other stuff I've got to finish off and get or contribute to the lithium to my Mark 12 Borg set. So let's go back to status. And, well, first off, I've got one heavy cannon and two very regular dual cannons and my Omega Plasma Torpedo. Now, I've noticed that when you incorporate other kind of guns in there, it drains your weapon power faster and I don't really want to drain my weapon power. I want my weapon power to be really, really, really good. I want a continuous supply of weapon power so that way my DPS gets higher and also it's steady line and so that way I don't lose DPS and I don't get I don't kill faster because I don't want to. And I find that these two right here, they fire faster than this dual cannon. So I personally think that these two will make up for, you know, two dual heavy cannons pretty much because first off, they fire really fast and the amount of damage they put out. They put out at least as much damage as the dual heavy cannon. And I will go to more detail on that later. Uh, I'm going to bring up my Omega Plasma Torpedo. This plasma torpedo fires and recharges really fast. It's five uh, rounds per charge, or five charges per round, whatever you want to call it. And it's very, very powerful. Uh, if I activate, let's see, if I activate my torpedo high yield one, I have a heavy, I have a plasma energy bolt. That plasma energy bolt does a lot of damage. It's actually vaporized me on impact with some other people. And I use Torpedo Spread 1 and Torpedo Spread 2. I used to right here run when I had my, um, do I have it on here? No, I don't. Well, I used to run one dual beam bank, and that dual beam bank was pretty much draining energy and why? Oh, okay. Like I said, that dual beam bank was draining energy, a lot of energy. And if I hit beam overload it would drain a lot more so I decided to switch over and have more damage per second with this which is a really really good setup and so it's really good setup and I since this is a multi-vector it's multi-vector fleet it's a fleet advanced escort multi-vector capabilities it pretty much can separate and my warp core I use is a hyper injection warp core and it gives me uh, plus 7.5 additional engine power. And one of the most important things is it adds some point my shield power over to my weapon power as bonus. That gives me so much more power. And I'll show you later why I have a lot of power coming from the ship. And next up, I run two phase of turrets in the back because when I am directly pointing at something coming outwards, it gives it a lot of damage. See? All these cannons, they fire outwards, so I've got like quite a few damage per second coming right on out. Very, very devastating. And, well, I have what every person would want. And this is my kinetic cutting beam. And my kinetic cutting beam gives me the damage that it's just not there. I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. Even though it's kind of hard to lock, even though it it's hard for it to lock onto something because of the fact that once it hits something, it stays there. It doesn't rapidly recharge and move so you have to be very careful with how to aim that I'm just not I don't care it goes off it fires it does whatever because it's special and next you guys see how I use I use my mark 12 Borg my mark 11 Borg uh, set and this set even though I used to use my mark 12 Mako set the mark 12 Mako set didn't have what I wanted first off this set it limits the power that's withdrawn 
that I get taken away from my ship, like if the Borg try to take away, or the Breen, or something like that, they try to take away my power, it doesn't work. Uh, it should be, yeah, see, it's got power, uh, Starship Graviton generators, and power insulators. Never mind, Graviton insulators, okay, they help a lot, actually. And this shield, this shield is probably my pride and joy, and it's regenerative, so... If you combine it with the set, it makes it beautiful. It gives it more and more shields, which makes my escort super awesome. And let's go on. So I run two auxiliary batteries, and I will show you why later, as soon as I'm done explaining my ship and its consoles. So I'm going to start off right here. I like the PvP a lot, and I find that these neutronium alloys help me out a lot. A lot, actually. See, I got 17.5 kinetic damage resistance and 17.5 all energy damage resistance it helps a lot uh, currently I hope I will get a lot more uh, let's see. within the next two days I should have mark 12s very rares see this is my multi-vector mode my field generator which increases my shield capacity and my simulated module which the whole set right here this is so my kinetic Cutting beam, I'll make a positive torpedo in this. It's one whole set, and it increases my power settings to my weapon. I love it, because I got a lot of power flowing to my weapon. So, not too seeing my ship, you know, it... It could put out a lot of damage. Let's go to my bridge officers. So right here, here's all my bridge officers. And well, right here, I use every, everything for me is on hotkeys. Everything. Okay, that don't, won't work that way. Because okay, so everything for me is on hotkeys. Yes, it worked. All right, so everything's on hotkeys. Hotkeys are very important to me in the game. That's why I take down ships, damage ships, a lot of ships really fast. And so when it comes to that, I like to treat my escort sort of as a destroyer. And when you separate it, it turns... Now, I like to treat my escort as a frigate. And when you separate, it turns it into a destroyer. So I have to be very careful. And I rely on my speed, my warp core. And with that speed, well, I can pretty much ride the behinds of different ships. And it gets annoying a lot. Actually, most of my fleet members in the 21st call uh my ship the mosquito i originally had it named the mosquito but oh, i don't really want it to be named as a mosquito actually i named it after a destroyer called the fletcher pretty much because i like the name <laughs> so i use tactical team one torpedo spread two rapid fire two this is my pride and joy or one of them my attack pattern omega three and it resists tractor beams and it increases my, well, damage and it's just super awesome because my ship because I turned a lot faster. This right here makes my Omega cat or my freaking Omega Pleasant Torpedo uh, launch a whatever it's called, a Omega Plasma or freaking energy bolt. Yeah. And then I have rapid fire one. Torpedo spread one. All these combined are really awesome. So let's see if I hit this. Oh, in my bridge officer setup, I will explain that. I'll explain that later. Now, I use engineering team one, and right here, this, 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 I will explain to you later. This is probably the reason why I put out a lot of weapon damage, a lot. And these right here, these are my shield buffs. Uh, I use transfer shield strength one and science team two. I rely on these a lot more than I should, or than I do, than I rely on this. Um, when I'm under attack, I would typically hit this first, but when I know I'm screwed, I hit this, and this, and I hit this. I'll show you why later. And right here, my photonic officer cuts the reduction time on all these significantly, I think. Whatever. Well, uh... Hotkey setups, this is very important right here if you want to copy it. I don't care if you copy it or not, but uh, this hotkey setup keeps me alive. It keeps you turning really fast. 
And now I will talk about my weapon power and settings. So, like I said, this right here, this, as you can see, increases a lot of stuff really fast. Earlier today, I increased my uh, engine power settings for 10 seconds, and along with that, so first let me say, if you activate this, you can activate an auxiliary battery, because it takes your auxiliary and transfer it to emergency batteries, and your emergency batteries take up all of this right here. A lot. When I activate this, and I activate a auxiliary battery, see how this kicks up a lot? That, it, it's sort of like my emergency battery stash. It's my auxiliary, it's my emergency power that I transfer over. Even though it lasts for a few seconds. But, as you guys can tell, it's got a really, really short cooldown timer. And that's because of my bridge, of my duty officer setup. And right here I've got my multi-vector separations. This is the tank, the damage, and my reconnaissance section. Uh, right here, I don't really use this. I use my hotkeys, but this uh, reroutes shield powered one side and all that kind of yada 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 stuff. Uh, let me explain my bridge office, my duty officer setup. So it's space. All right, so I use two con officers. They recharge my tactical team and buffs. And then I use three technicians, and I've got to get. No, oh, what it? Oh, come on. Who? I've got to find it. Is engineering? Woohoo! I found it. So, right here, like I said, my two con officers, these recharge my tactical team. My tactical team, along with getting rid of boarding parties, gives me uh, plus 18 starship energy weapons. Oh, shoot. Okay. Nope. Stop it. It gives me projectile weapons, more damage, and it also gives me plus 8% in attack patterns and, and, it uh, routes power to that shield that is getting attacked momentarily. And if I combine it with this, this, and this, and these auxiliary batteries, I'm a shield tank. I'm just a shield tank waiting. Right here, these allow most of the recharge time to be cut short by a minute, uh, sometimes 15 seconds. So you see if I hit this? Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, no, it didn't work this time. Dang it. Let's try activating this one. Okay, the game is against me now. I, I feel it's against me. Oh well. It cuts it down by quite a few. As you guys can tell, if I combine all of these power-ups together, I can get damage that goes within the 5k range. I've reached 7k sometimes. Uh, oh, by the way, I do. I used to use uh, weapon batteries, but weapon batteries sustain it. They don't give me increased DPS. I don't want increased... Okay, I want increased DPS. But it only sustains, and my bridge officer setup, as you guys can tell, along with the use of my auxiliary batteries, sustains the DPS. So that right there, my friends, is my fleet advanced escort, which I really do love. Although it's it's got a lot of weapon power on it, all that kind of stuff. Where did my mouse go? What is my mouse doing? My mouse is freaking going nuts. So let's try that. Hey, look, I found my mouse. Yay! Well, that's my ship setup. Very devastating. Scares a lot of people. Does a lot of increased forward damage. So later on, I will create a YouTube video. And I will create it directly afterwards. But right now, I've got to go back to the upper channel. The upper TFC channel, because they want me. But, um, like I said, the ship, very devastating. Good luck, guys. Paranoid Trekkie, out.